What's up, brothers? It is October 26th, 2020. I am going to keep this video short, simple, and to the point. It seems as though the tank for Trevor train is getting more and more passengers. It seems like the tank for Trevor trade is just getting more and more passengers as time goes along. And I'm loving what I'm seeing. I'm going through uh, prominent cowboy YouTubers, looking through their comment sections, trying to get a pulse of the fan base right now. And of course, we're still overrun by a lot of DAC apologists, which is normal. But it seems like more and more people are hopping on that tank for Trevor trade. And y'all, even if we don't suck bad enough to get Trevor Lawrence, there's also Justin Fields and Trey Lance. Brothers, we need to look at this season as a blessing in disguise. We weren't going to be good enough anyway, even with Dak. This team was not going to be good enough. With Dak, at best, we were going to go, we were projected to go 4 and 12. Believe it or not, even if Dak would have stayed, we were projected to go 4-12. and 12. And with Dak, he probably could have eked out 7, 8 wins. And we probably would have won the division and then get bounced in the first round. And if we pay him 38 to $40 million, we won't be able to rebuild this defense that everybody's complaining about. We won't be able to rebuild this offensive line that everybody's complaining about. We won't be able to rebuild anything. And we would have to go bargain basement shopping like we always do in fucking free agency. And that ain't going to work anymore. If we draft a generational quarterback, we can keep him on his rookie salary for the next five years, five seasons. We can keep him on that shit. Our window is five years before we have to even think about paying him big money. Five years, you guys. We have five years if we draft a generational quarterback. This is our opportunity. This is it. Time to rebuild now. We suck anyway. We suck fucking ass anyway. Just fire sale. I heard we Everson Griffin is on the chopping block. He's on the trading block. Good. Good. This is great. Fire sale whatever you can. Try to trade whatever you can, get rid of most of these players, and start fresh. And it starts with a generational quarterback. Brothers, this is our opportunity. And more and more people are hopping on that train. I saw people saying, instead of Trevor, I want Justin Fields. Hey, if you have a preference, that's great. As long as we don't have to pay Dak $40 million, and as long as we can really, really rebuild and start fresh, hit that reset button, I'm all for it. I don't care if you have a preference. We just need something. And <laughs> this is great. Oh, I'm so fucking happy that more and more people are hopping on the train. We're not all clueless. We're not all Dak apologists. <sighs> Thank God. All right, brothers, peace.